Captivate 8 and 9 have both received an update uh, as of uh, June 13th, 2017. And this applies to vulnerabilities when reporting quiz results to a server. So in this update, they've uh, provided some sanitized PHP files that you'll need for internal server reporting. So I'm going to take you through the process today of backing up your old files and replacing them with the downloads. And of course, if you go to the e-learning community, the Adobe e-learning community website at elearning.adobe.com, you'll be able to find uh, this particular update and of course download the appropriate file that you need. So let's get started here. So I'm going to start off by going to the folder in question. This is going to be your, your program folder uh, for either Adobe Captivate 9 or Adobe Captivate 8. And then you're looking for the subfolder called Templates. And then the subfolder below that called Publish. And we're looking for two PHP files, internal server reporting.php. First thing we want to do is we want to create a backup of that. So just rename the file .old. So press F2 in the case of a Windows machine and uh, change the file extension from PHP to .old or old. And we're going to get a little warning that you know says that are you sure you want to make this change. I'm going to say yes. And of course, because it's a, a system folder, we want to confirm administrator permission for that. We're going to do the same thing for the other PHP file called internal server read.php. I'm going to press F2 and we'll just change that file extension to also .old. And again, the same warnings that you'll see there. So once that's done, you're going to, of course, download the applicable update, which will come in the form of a zip folder. I've already unzipped mine and uh, found that the two files are there. We're just going to copy those, right click, copy, and then I'm going to return to that original folder within the Adobe Captivate 8 or Adobe Captivate 9 templates publish folder and I'm going to paste those in there and that's it if you thought this video was useful please share it with your colleagues if you need help building your next e-learning project consider hiring me my focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com Follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.